All right, guys, it is overtime. It is a Monday. Johnny is here. I've got some Snort Hogan. Uh oh. I got oh wait, no, I got Snort Hogan and I've got Snort Burnell. A lot of snorting. I've got lots of DSP today. I got two clips that we can go over. One, I have to disagree with DSP on the first clip. And then on the second clip, it's just him bitching about losing games. And to me, that's my favorite DSP. I mean, the guy literally sounds like an infant. I know. When he loses games. I, 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 I will admit, I do this too, okay? I bitch and I complain when I lose games. But I also don't stream it. Uh, I kind of do it in my home by right. myself. And I feel shame, as you should. I remember when I was like 10 and I would lose a game and I would accuse the game of cheating. Yeah, right. I still do that. Oh, do you really? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Well, no, no. Look. Well, the first one's about him begging for money. So we're all going to have to eat shit on this a little bit, right? I mean, we're a filthy beggar show. He's a filthy beggar show. The only, uh, like I said, I don't like the people who uh, make fun of DSP for begging for money. That's not my problem with DSP. Never has been. That's how he does it. Like Corey said, most podcasts out there now are crowdfunded. That's just the funding. You either have to run a shitload of commercials or you got to crowdfund. And we would never make enough money running commercials to be able to pay for this thing. My favorite DSP is rage quitting DSP. That's my favorite. Uh, so let's watch the first one, which is I'm going to respectfully disagree with DSP. He's going to try to spin the way he asks for money okay. into, oh, no, it's awesome. It's the way I want it to be. Let's watch DSP try to explain the asking for money bit. Bing. This clip from, by the way, Snort Hogan. Subscribe to Snort Hogan for great DSP stuff. Uh, this is called DSP Lucky to Beg. Today is very different. Today, I'm a, a full-time streamer and a content creator on the internet who I'm based off of crowdfunding. You guys come to the to the content and you, you know, you, know, you contribute via membership, super chat, super stickers, tips, right? Pledges to my Patreon, Patreon, all that stuff. That's how I make the majority of my living. Okay, stop right there. That is fine. I know that the people on Reddit and stuff and the Red Bar fans, they hate that shit. They don't like crowdfunding. Well, guys, I'm sorry, but you're all dumb. That's the way the world works now. Your audience likes what you do. You rattle the cans after you, like we do. You perform for four hours. Then you go, hey, guys, what do you feel like throwing in today? And you give them a little something extra for And it. if you suck, they're not going to pay you. And if you suck, they're not going to pay you. I don't think my problem with DSP is that he's crowdfunded. I think that's wonderful. I think that's great. It's this next part where as a fellow internet beggar, uh, I have to disagree. Very little of what I put out on the internet is profit based on ads. Very, very little. Like, like, pfft. man, I would say, I'm not even exaggerating at this point because ad revenue has plummeted so badly that it's probably 10%, if that. I love that Snort Hogan made him one of the uh, aliens from Men in Black inside the guy's yeah, chest. Yeah, I keep feeling like it's a Coneheads video. I know. I, I, I expect DSP to go, to prevent war, the galaxy is on Orion's What's this word? <sighs> that I just make on pure ads. And there's exceptions to that rule. There's sometimes when it goes up, for example, holiday season, usually you'll see a big spike. But in general, during the year, ad revenue is like an afterthought. If you want to make a living doing YouTube content, you have to have funding via other means. Which is okay, and that's great. That's awesome. I understand that. The key word here is have to. I would agree. We have to do that. Is it the way we'd prefer to do the show? No. No. If everybody who listens became a member, we wouldn't have to mention money ever. If, uh, let's say, uh, we had enough views where ads could fund the thing, we wouldn't worry about it ever. However, that's not the way it goes, and you have to crowdfund. There's no shame in that. There's nothing wrong with that, DSP. It's this next part that really got me. Well, you've seen many full-time YouTubers over the years go from, oh, just watch my videos to, oh, please watch my videos, please pledge to my Patreon, please pledge to my other crowdfunding campaign, please buy these 10 products I'm shilling on my stream, here's also a paid ad placement for some food delivery service, and this and this and this. They have to do that to survive, you know? Luckily for me, because I changed my formula from on-demand to streaming and crowdfunding via streaming, I kind of avoided a lot of those pitfalls that a lot of other content creators fell into. Time the fuck out! Didn't you just tell us how you were getting crowdfunded and you want people to donate to your Patreon and shit? 
he, he, no, it's the, I avoided those pitfalls. Motherfucker, you didn't avoid those pitfalls. Grubhub won't advertise with you. I hate this shit when people are insecure about the fact that they're e-beggars. Yes, we dance like monkeys and we put on a funny show for people, at the end of which we go, hey guys, this is what it takes to keep it going. Do you feel like filling the can? Sure, there you go. That's how we fund our show. But we're not going to sit here and go, oh, it's my preferred method and I avoided what a lot of those other losers have to do, like selling coffee or doing an ad read. Dude, it's like saying, you know, Johnny, I've avoided the damage that playing pro football does to your knees. You know, uh, where all these other pro football players have lots of knee damage and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was able to avoid that by only playing in my backyard. Motherfucker, the NFL didn't want me. I was never even an option for the NFL. And the NFL was never an option for me. Same thing with DSP. It's oh, just I'm nice to get nominated. You were nominated? Yeah. No, it's very political and it's... Yeah, Shut yeah. up. Okay, sorry. Um, but with this motherfucker, like, he has no humility in him whatsoever. Do you know how much of his heat would go away if he just looked in the camera and went, yeah, I ask for tips and revenue from my audience to fund my shit I'm doing. How about that? Go fuck yourself. That's what we do. We have fun with it. We have fun with it. We have a great time. We literally rattle cans and play noises. Why? Because if you want to do a show on YouTube with, a, you know... 10, 15, 20, I think we're at 40,000 unique viewers every month now. If you want to do a show with 40,000 fans, you got to crowdfund it, especially if you want to staff like we do. But you don't run away from it in shame and go, oh, I've actually avoided the pitfalls. Avoided the pitfalls? Motherfucker, if we could find a way to make money where we didn't have to ask our fans for it, I'd do it in a heartbeat. And, and you ask your fans for a lot of money. It sounds like you haven't avoided pitfalls. Right. You also don't tell them how much. You don't have a goal. You don't have a set amount. You sit here and you tell your audience to their face, ah, it's fucking great. I can just lean on you guys for all my money and not do any of that other shit. Dude, if Manscaped came to us and said, do you guys want to do ad reads? I'm like, Fuck great. Yeah. We could lower our goals and charge our, our people less. I'd get a free shaver. Ooh, and we'd get a free ball shaver. Yeah, there you go. That'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, it's this attitude of like, oh, all these sucker YouTubers out there that are doing reads for DoorDash and all these sucker YouTubers that are getting big ad revenue money. I was able to avoid those pitfalls by just squeezing as much as I could out of you guys. And it's just weird because you're like you said, he never has a set goal. Like even on my channel, I have a monthly goal, Mark. Yeah. And I'll tell people it's like 800 bucks. I'll be like, that's where we're at. We're close to it. Uh, so we're not worrying about donations today. Yeah. That kind of thing. But I'm very, very clear when we're at it, where we're there with him. He's, oh, I need my money. I need my money. But how much money how do you much? need? Yeah. I, 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 I did, we didn't make enough donations today. Well, what's the usual amount you need to make? So last week he got a $200 donation from a whale. Yep. And I guarantee this week we're going to be in the same fucking spot where it's going to be things are tight, this and that. It's like it never stops. So it's not, again, with DSP, my th some people's thing about him is that, that he asks for money. I'd be a big hypocrite if my problem with DSP was he asked for money. We both would. Oh, I am a hypocrite, but yeah. But, but my problem with him is that he acts like that's the preferred method. He can't have the humility to go, that's what I have to do to Wait, generate my dollars. And nobody with half a brain would fault you for that. That's Everybody does that, DSP. He's acting like these other people are suckers and they're terrible and he's he doesn't have to do what they do. And again, he won't get the offer for the big sponsorships, so he pretends he's turned them down. Oh, uh, it's one of those comedians. Well, you know, I could be big time, but I, I, I'm about the comedy. You know, I'm about the right. art, not the money. That's exactly not his attitude. Out. Meanwhile, I can't pay my condo dues. Come on, tips. Fuck these super chats. Do tips. Guys, I can't afford to do eating with the king because, you know, Grubhub's too expensive. So tips. God damn with this fucking guy. All right. My other clip is to me the more fun clip. And that is DSP rage quitting at games. Oh, God. Uh... This motherfucker will not stop playing Street Fighter. He keeps getting his dick kicked in at Street Fighter. He keeps losing. He keeps raging. He keeps screaming. And he keeps playing. He will not stop playing. Uh, this is DSP this weekend. I believe this was yesterday. Playing some Street Fighter. Sounds good to me. I still like doing this every Friday. I want to keep doing this every Friday. But I need buy-in that people are going to keep showing up 
and engaging and supporting, even if we can't get a lot of matches. I can't make the collection work, or I can't make more people buy it. Maybe eventually it'll go on a big sale, and then we're gonna see a big influx of players, but until that happens, it's pretty much is what it is, all right? Phil, people don't tune in for the game. They turn in for the streamer. They and turn in for, you, for your attitude, for your charisma, for the show you're putting on. It's You keep blaming the game. It's not the game's fault. And you realize, dude, when you play older games, there's just less people interested in older games. They've been out for a while. People like the new game. So if you want to do something like this, you need to get established as a guy who does that. And also have some funny shit to say. Like, have some some comedy. Have some stuff in there. Wow. Riveting, Phil. Riveting content. We're literally just this watching him play games, video games. This is why these games, like... What? I'm going to come out? Yeah. Insanely bad connection. You can see it's going to be insane for his animation. So I can't even get my moves. I already lost. Yep. He's got a terrible fucking connection. By the way, Madara, if you're still here, can you please help me moderate him because the fucking troll is back? Thank you. The <laughs> idiot it has a laggy ass fucking connection. He's cheating. He's playing basic dial in lag, getting away with his platinum rank. Doesn't deserve it at all. <laughs> he gets so ornery over he's it. He's platinum ranked. He doesn't deserve it at all. Someone call the FBI. He's filing tech. Fuck this guy. It's all the lag. The game won't let me do my move. I'm doing my move. The game won't let me do it. He's doing lag. He has platinum. He doesn't fucking deserve it. This game is racist because the white guy just beat the black guy. <laughs> There's the salt. The delicious salt. I love Snort. By the way, this one's Snort Burnell. The last one was Snort Hogan. This one is Snort Burnell. Follow Snort Burnell. Subscribe to his channel. He's great, too. What the fuck? It's insane. It's insanely bad. I can't get my flip. What the? F Dude, it's, that, what he's doing is not earned it at all. He's literally, look, you see the skipped animation. He's just mashing and getting flash kick in lag. He <laughs> He's losing his fucking shit over a kid's game. I mean, this doesn't look good for you, Phil. No. One, you're being very immature, but two, <laughs> I mean, as someone who's trying to be a game streamer, it helps to win the game. Yeah, you got to win once in a while, buddy. And when you lose, you can't just sit there and talk. There's no way that all these losses you're piling up, Phil, are all the game's fault. It's all the game's fault. They're all cheating. He's literally just mashing and lagging, getting moves out. He's not earning. It's complete nonsense and broken. That's why he's skipping and not showing solid hits. It's unbelievable. Fuck this guy. Now I'm really pissed. I don't even care. Now I'm just going to fucking throw him the whole round. I don't even care. I'm not even going <laughs> to... He's losing his shit. I'm just going to throw him the whole round. If you don't like it, too bad. Fuck you. I yeah. guess I'm going to win for once. Fuck you. This is a friendly stream where we ask our audience for donations. Fuck you. Piece of shit. I'm fucking pissed now. I can't imagine why you're struggling to hit the donations every day. I can't imagine why people don't enjoy watching you play games. <laughs> just yelling at everybody. Try to play. I don't fuck this guy. My mouth is full of salt. I love Snort Burnell. Nope. What the fuck? Two hit dizzy that he didn't earn. You I got thought you were going to throw him every time. Why aren't you throwing him, Phil? Give him the throw. Give him the throws. You said, fuck him. I'm going to throw him all show. You know, I watched you keep getting beat by Guile. <laughs> Could you maybe either practice playing Guile or play as Guile? I mean, it just seems like they've got your number. <laughs> yeah, Phil, and it doesn't seem like Vega's your guy or Balrog, whoever the fuck you are now. i be joking. I can't even move. He got a two hit dizzy, he didn't connect solidly with either hit, and then he fucking gets a giant combo for no reason, and then he gets more hits he didn't earn in lag. What a piece of dog player. <laughs> and he gets more hits he didn't earn. He's freaking the fuck out. Like, I don't, we, do we even need commentary over this? Like, no! This is funny on its own. This is so sad. I actually feel, I kind of want to give him $5 now, because life is hard. <laughs> I mean, I've been. This fucking sucks so damn. hard. It earns nothing. Literally earns nothing. Not a single hit. All I can taste is the saltiness. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. Nope. No tech hit. Doesn't work like that. It's skipping all the frames. Did you see? It doesn't work like that. Uh, it it kind of just did. No, wait, wait, he's yelling. He's telling the game that the game's not supposed to work like that. You see, Phil was one of the early programmers on Street Fighter, and he unceremoniously got kicked out for eating all the deli snacks that oh. they would bring in. And so he actually knows how the game is programmed, and he knows how it's supposed to go. It's not supposed to go like that. He just runs up to the console. Stop beating me! This isn't the how you're supposed to do it! How many broken controllers are in that man's house? I have no idea, but he won't sell any of them. They're piled up like the skulls of his enemies. They're in his closet.
See how many frames of animation it skipped? It skipped like five to six frames of animation and just gave him hit after hit. Impossibly bad. Why doesn't it ever skip the animation and give you hit after hit, Phil? Yeah, it's weird how everyone's <laughs> lag always hits you. I know. You never get... And that's another thing too, buddy. Like, if this is so bad, why do you keep doing it? Nobody's making you do this. hes I don't think he's ever lost a fight legit. Well, he's the greatest. Gameplay. Just skip, skip, skip. Right through his combos. Oh, where's my moves? It's very salty, but it also has this, like, sour flavor to it. It does. So you're fighting platinum players, and you're a super player, oh which means God. they're better than you. And you're surprised you're losing. That's the thing. The people who play these games have nothing better to do than, like, do this counter-punch stuff. That It's just... Now, now, People take this too seriously. Notice that he's winning, and while he's winning, he's not bitching. Yeah, we're not saying anything yet. Yeah. It's only when he starts losing. Drop my input right in the middle of my combo. <laughs> You're winning. Full but super. Didn't finish. Hail Mary EX Dragon Punch juggles me to kill. Wow. I do perfectly timed. Blow through the fireball, reversal super for giant damage. She says, spam EX Dragon Punch. <laughs> oh, he lost. Okay, he was on the left side that time. Oh. So when he thought he was about to win when he landed that big combo, no complaints. But as soon as he lost, oh yeah, they fucked up. I had a combo and they had a thing in And the animation went out. And again, you got beat by a rookie, oh, buddy. Oh no, you got beat by a rookie, Phil. It's not the game, Phil. Yeah, you got knocked down to super bronze also. This is you bad news. You are just not doing well, my friend. Again, these old school, like, arcade games, most people aren't into them. These are like a niche thing for, like, 40-year-olds. Don't, Don't know why I got hit there. Because you were standing next to them when they hit you with something? It's a button masher. You got hit because that's how it works. It's oh, my God. The problem with the, with the goo, it takes too long to come out, and when it comes out, it goes over their head. You have to do it from full screen distance, or else it whips. And that's the disadvantage of that goo. The goo is good. It's really good. It just bounces then around. Then stop oh my using God, it. Just it. Misses from that range so badly. Jesus, so man. It's very, very salty. Oh, we're back on Street Fighter. Oh, no. Don't get away from Street Fighter. Stop playing Street Fighter, Phil. This is only going to end poorly. And they're not going to be using a turbo controller, too. It's just even worse. He's using a turbo controller. So the turbo controller, he gets fierce hands. And I can't do anything about it. Really. He's using a turbo controller. They make these controllers that you can buy and you can use and they help you play a game. And this asshole went bomb on. It's the lag. It's the controller. It's the guy. It's the game. It's never Phil. Oh, God. This is too good. I can't there, there are There are seven more minutes of this fucking video. Jesus, man. Of him just going full salt on all of his losses. I, how much how much time do we even have in overtime left? We have seven minutes left. We can do a little bit more of him freaking out at a video game. And then we got to... Uh, we're 20 bucks away from our goal, by the way, if we want to knock that out before we're done here. Can't do that in a real game. Only a turbo controller can play like that. Well, I didn't want fucking Ryu. It was a mispick. <laughs> a complete mispick there. Up. Uh -oh. Your nemesis is back. Uh-oh. I can't, I, can't, I can't do a headbutt through. A fucking Guile again. lagging so badly. It's not lagging. Yeah, it's not yeah, lagging. You, lag? you just hit him like four times. I can do it. <laughs> it did nothing. It did absolutely oh, nothing. Oh, he's losing his mind. Whenever you laugh loudly after you lose, you're about you to. You are very unhappy. Oh, you're about to have a breakdown. It lags so bad, it lets him just walk up and throw. I didn't see any lagging. I didn't see any lagging. He's teleporting I don't dial with no lagging. frames of animation whatsoever. Yes, what a great game. Oh, you're getting salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Hits doesn't earn. What the fuck was that? That was him beating your ass. Yeah. He's just beating you up, Phil, because he's better than you. I couldn't get my flip. What Remember, the fuck did you're out of flip. What the fuck again? <laughs> every time I'm near him, he gets free throw. Literally, every fucking time I get near him, he gets a free throw. That's right, because you're some... supposed to pay. They're normally 375 per throw, and he hasn't bought one throw. Just... Oh, God, oh, the guy. God. He's my favorite. I, I can't help it, man. The guy just every week, if it's not one thing, it's another. And he just loses his fucking mind.
over it. 